Hello everybody, so today I will be showcasing Ketsia in Anarkuya revamp. She spawns in with 450 health and 2200 magic. She has the most magic in game out of any game pass switch. First up, her ability is Mind Fire, which looks like Will this. not come near me. She basically will fry the mind and shut down the mind of a player, knocking them out for some amount of time. Next up is her Blood Boil, which looks like this. Probably don't want to get on my bad side. And she will basically boil the target's blood. I will leave Amulet Channel to later on in the videos as magic is right now very high. I will get to this later on in the video and I will get to the resurrection spells later too. So her first spell is Solidus Lapus, I mean Lapis, basically allowing the target to be turned into stone, making them immortal, well, uh, untouchable, and yeah. She has access to Dalphonia Tencor, and uh, which will, I will get to later. So her cu first custom spell that spells for Ashalana. Ashalana. She can walk away from the spell away, like to as you can see, like Catherine constantly is like, hey, Catherine is no longer being damaged. However, they will still be pushed away. Uh, and also, if the target also walks into Ketsia, they will also be um damaged. Like if when Ashalana is going on, if they're walked into, they will be uh, damaged. Avita Ixari, it works on any vampire, but it needs to be done on 50% health. So let's get our target a little bit lower. Probably don't want to get on my bad side. Incendio. What's up? Okay, now we can use it. <laughs> and Ketsia has desiccated the target, making them basically unable to move. Okay, so I kind of wasted my magic a little bit, and as you guys can see, by channeling the amulet, I can refill my magic by giving up some of my healths, and it's a hold keybind, and as long as you hold it, your magic will be filled back up. However, it will stop when, um, your, what's its name? Um, magic is full, yes. Next up is for Cure Creation. Cure for immortality. She can either use this to drink herself or um, feed it to other people. This can work. This cure works also on hope. So yeah, let's get to our next part. So for our next spell, we need to come over here to this part of the cemetery and type in "Ego Immortalitam Perfecto Crio." It looks like this. <laughs> As you guys can see, Ketsia has made an Immortality's Chalice, which can, which she can either drink herself or feed. Now, if she decides to drink herself, she can cure herself, or if she wants to feed it to somebody else, she needs to damage the target enough to have health. Probably don't want to get on my bad side. And yes, her fire is blue. I forgot. You know, I think actually she needs to be on red. Yeah, she needs to be on red. Okay, she can basically force drink the target, making them Im immortal species. And an immortal only has basically push. Basically, they are n a normal human with immortality and just a combat and like speed, basically. And if Ketsia decides to cure them, they will turn into a witch, surprisingly. 
but if a vampire is cured, they will um, be immortal. So they are no longer a witch, and the witch only has 250 health and 750 magic, which is not enough for anything. Now let's get on to her other side spells. Alright. Okay, also, let me see if I missed anything. It's not those five items. Okay, no. Follow this for anyone in order. Okay. Oh, on the side, okay. So, Fasmatos et Spiritos Mortebum. Casting Peers. <laughs> As you all can see, I just resurrected Catherine from the other side. Oh my, that's a long cooldown. Ashalana! Ashalana does a really good damage amount of damage, to be honest. It's like one of the highest damages in game. Okay, next up is Katsia's other side erasing. Let me f look at the spell. What's it? What was it again? I can't find it. Hold on. Expel anima. Okay. So clicking on the target. The ending's the best part. I created the other side as a supernatural barrier. Ketsia will be able to banish the soul of the other players, returning them back to their body. Also, this is how the pendant channel works. As you guys can see, my health is low. But my magic is now back to full. Ketsia is one of my favorite game paths, and she's really overpowered, in my opinion. So let's just pass on to the other side real quick. Let me just be back. Okay, so as you guys can see, I am now on the other side, and I can now bring myself back to life with I'm not sure what the cooldown on this is, and if you can do it, I can only use it on yours, so if you can do this multiple times. But it is really good, and yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!